Good morning, parents. Hey, guess who it is? It's Mr. Albertson. What a beautiful day it is outside. I'm going to walk outside. Make sure nobody's around me. Yep, everybody's clear. I'm going to take my mask off so I can chat with you for a little bit. Sit down on my favorite bench with the beautiful church in the background. I uh, just wanted to kind of catch you up on some plans and procedures that we have in place for our reopening on Wednesday, August the 5th, a little over two weeks away. I can't wait. It's been a long time to get the Lions back. Um, we are constantly getting updates from Marion County Health Department, from the CDC, from the Indiana Department of Health. Uh, they're giving us some advisements. Uh, everything looks clear to go right now, but things can change. So we always want you to be ready for that. I know some schools are going to total virtual learning. Some schools are delaying a couple weeks. Uh, we are planning on starting on time on August 5th, a full go. Uh, but just want to let you know is keep your um, ear to the uh, news, so to speak, and, and, and we will follow whatever uh, the local health organizations tell us to do. Uh, but we're hoping to get started on time uh, in, a, in a great fashion. So a couple changes we're gonna make this year that we've just put into place and just finalized, uh, we are gonna have before care uh, in the gym this year. Uh, we are using the library as a classroom, as one of our fifth grade classrooms because of the size and social distancing. Uh, this will allow our parents uh, to drop off uh, in front of Schaefer Hall. Uh, and we're working out all its specific specifics now with Mrs. Kesters to make that safe and convenient. Uh, so before care will be in uh, Schaefer Hall before school. Uh, the normal hours from 7 uh, until we start school at 7.30. And then also we will uh, be having aftercare in the cafeteria. And I think I spoke with you earlier about that as well. So aftercare will be in the cafeteria. Uh, we plan on getting one of those fancy ring doorbells and that small door that goes down to Schaefer Hall on the north side of the church. Uh, so when you come to pick up your kids, uh, Mr. Kesters will be able to see you and he will send your children up to you. But again, we'll get all the specifics for that laid out for you. And uh, we hope to, uh, by the end of this week, have our reopening plan sent to you so you can see it as well. We are, again, finalizing th some things as things change uh, in these times uh, with different case numbers going up and down and so forth. And we hope and pray that continues to trend downward. Uh, but we're looking for uh, guidance, like I said, from all the different uh, health organizations from the state, the federal government, local governments, and we appreciate all the help they've been. So I just wanted to catch you up a little bit on what's going on. Uh, if you would, keep working on uh, having your children starting to wear their mask. Uh, be positive with them about those masks. Tell them they look great in them. Uh, tell them they're going to keep them safe and keep everybody else safe. And I think this, these masks and our social distancing and washing our hands and not having other uh, people come into our building and our static seating, uh, we're gonna keep everybody safe uh, and we're gonna work on having a great start to our school year. So I can't wait to see you soon. Don't forget, uh, next week, I believe it's Tuesday and Wednesday, we've got supply drop-off if you did not order your supplies online. And I think Mrs. Klein or Mrs. Grimes already sent you an email on that. So look again at that and check the website often. We look forward to seeing you. God bless, Lions. We love you.